It is time to empty out the shed and move it there. And now that I have the brick shed cleaned out, I can move the items from the white shed into there. And once I have the shed, the white shed over there, I can move the x-ray machine and the printing press off the trailer and into its new location in the white shed, awaiting teardown and restoration. Honestly, I've been so focused on cleaning up other things that I can't recall what's even in here. Wow, this, this cottonwood dries up pretty pretty well. So this is cottonwood that I had. I had it drying for like a year. I might make big wooden mallets out of it. It's so light too. This printer can be scrapped. It's actually quite heavy. And a lot of these other items like lawn mowers and metal things for future projects can go behind the workshop. Such a weird honking. Weird. You never had that much traffic in this town. We miss you. Okay. This is fucking weird. I'm gonna go back to cleaning up my yard. that this workshop or this shed stays super hot almost all year round relative to the outside temperature and it just bakes out all the moisture in the wood it's really nice some viewers might remember that I put the other two of these on that newer shelf in my workshop but I don't feel like carrying that thing up a ladder to put it with the other two I forgot I got that one. Not bad. Now this is an example of my cleaning method. When I was, I was cleaning out the brick shed, I went through a couple boxes and downsized it into this box. And now I'm going to go through the box again and keep the parts, the things that I want. Like for instance, I'll keep the lithium battery packs for the lithium cells, but I won't keep that. I'll keep that because it goes to a bench grinder. I'll keep that. I'll keep that. Because sometimes I'll see something and I just don't know what it is, but I but I'll I know it's something. And so I'll have to I'll just keep it until I do remember. And now, like this time going through, I remember that's for a hard drive I took apart and so like that. So scrap. Hey, I need that. Goes to shelving. Tool, cash, tool, scrap, tool, 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 So I'll get like eight boxes of stuff down into that and then I'll sort through that more. Like this is brand new welding supplies, so they're definitely cheap. And every time I refine this, the little the the tails of things get more and more interesting and more and more useful. And it's it's a good way just to just go through things and 
get rid of the least interesting. Instead of just going through and throwing away a bunch of stuff at once. I forgot that I was saving glass bottles for uh, a glass melting project. I'm going to be working on making a forge pretty soon, hopefully this year. And so I'll just keep that around just enough to where I can melt that down and play around with that. Uh, ooh, heat. Definitely keep. Didn't know those were in there. That's unfortunate. So this is going to be restored. Gotta filter out to electronics. Keep. Electronics. Oh, this is all electronics. But, a tape measure. So it's a tool. I'll just move this box into my electronics area for me to go through an ele electronics video. Whenever the shutdown ends and the antique shops open back up, I'll probably sell all these. But I actually haven't also found any use for them, so I'll keep a couple for myself. Folding screws and whatnot. The wind absolutely wreaks havoc on the backyard sometimes. I just now noticed that my stop sign fell off my pile of tires and those have been full. I'll have to empty those out before mosquitoes come around. You guys might not know how big of a deal this is, but I moved that tarp shed right there because I was building the workshop. I've never seen the workshop from this angle and I really like the view of it. So. Now, I can actually have a fire. Last year I wasn't allowed to have a fire because, well, I had the tarp shed too close and I didn't really have a good place to move it until now. And I've decided just over there would be good enough. So, we have two years of garbage to burn through. I think that would be a good idea to go ahead and empty that out and empty out the burn pit of all the ash because it would be nice to start the year with a, a nice fresh burn pit instead of having 2017 and 2018 burn pit ash in there. I've always wanted one of those trucks.
I think I'm ready to call it there. go now. Probably a bit too windy to do it today, but I'm doing it anyway because I feel like it. These, the, the way these gusts work is really interesting. That's a good fire. This is a good first fire for the year. Fire's cleaned up really well. I think it's about time we put that piece of uh, OSB on there. Now that's an even more interesting, like, aerodynamic type thing. It's kind of cool. Bit smoky though. And right now it's just building up heat and uh, this is a good way to get a fire to really go is to let it smolder for a bit and to drive off all of the stuff that won't burn and then once it burns through this it'll be a really nice hot fire. You can see it's just bursting out, it just wants to burn. Yeah, that's pretty toasty. Okay, I'm getting impatient. I'm just gonna pull the bolt. My rivet gun will be here like on Wednesday, so I'm just gonna leave these gutters in. Yeah, look how thin it's burned it now. Yeah. Now. I can smell it in the house. Yeah, you bet you could. Nice having a fire. Nice construction fire. Is that it? Since I have so many of these broken pieces, I made this pile like a little donut 
and all these fire bricks can go in the middle and then it's like more like a just a ring to hold the rest so it's like a bowl to hold all the little pieces because whenever i'm going to build a forge i can use all those little pieces for the corners and such i'm glad i got these though because now that i'm thinking about taking a uh, re rebuilding the brick shed i can build a brick forge in the back Has the cat got herself on fire yet? Not yet. It's good. This cat doesn't catch herself on fire. That was Minnie that used to do that. I know. I just already signed and Minnie would walk over a candle. That her, cat. Her hair okay. would just be burning, burning, burning. I know. That's... So what started out as being the smell of, I don't know, mulberry or cookies or something, ended up being cat hair. Yum. Pull that over. Hey, that's where I painted my, my wrench. Huh? That's where I painted my wrench. Oh. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> I painted it red. Yeah, yes, yes, you can tell that. Looks great. And it's drying out too. That's already drying out. Might give it a little like a couple hours before I move the printing press and stuff here. It's been quite a long time since we have that, had that cleaned off, eh? Since like, uh, well, late 2018 when I started, well, September 2018. That's when it was. I like it, it'll do for now. Now that is a really nice fire. I feel like playing with my boiler I made as a kid. It's gonna be pretty fun. I'm gonna go fill it up with more water. Didn't realize water had gotten up there. Oh well. It's popping and crackling as that water goes down. It's definitely going. I actually am quite proud of that loading mechanism because it means that I can actually load it without releasing all the pressure. 
One thing I want to do is test this pressure relief valve. I haven't tested it in years. Perfect. Not bad engineering for when I was like 13. So, yeah, those were like 10 minutes too. Yeah, I know because I came out here to get out of it. The 1920s Chandler and Price is home and the extra machine. Would it be a good idea? We could just pull this whole piece of plywood off and you can keep it. Uh, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one uh, thing on and I'm going to upright it, put the other one on, then turn it and pull it off. Um. Which I think will work. Okay, so, you want a bar underneath it? 
Yeah, two by four. I just cleaned up the yard and put all the two by fours away. <laughs> Want to borrow? Get that, that that door piece over there. I got some, yeah. I mean, I can do more probably, but I need some fry it up there. That's all we know. Oh, but you're already one all the crew, that's why. Yeah. Wow. I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, we should just do that. Get these out of the way. Nice. Now this shouldn't be too bad, but we moved it in the building. Yeah. I feel like right in the way of where I want to clean the house, so. trying to move it that way, but it keeps going down the other way. I'm not going to get out of there because it's going to get fun. Okay? Push it this way? Try to push it this way. Huh? That way? Right. this way.
call that pretty good. Just plenty of WD-40 to keep it from rusting even more. The x-ray machine is 490 pounds and the spring press fragment is around 900 pounds, just FYI. I'm going to tear down that thing, the x-ray machine, so we can send the rest of that to the scrapyard once I get the electronics out. And then this, I'm going to build a, most likely a mobile crane, and that'll help me lift that up and move it. Because I'll be needing to move this quite a bit and reorientating, reorienting it while I'm restoring it. I guess before the sun fades, I should probably deal with the mosquito farm. Is that from the uh, from the the uh, your little one? Your little car, whatever it's called. No. It's like a Suzuki something. Yeah, it's not. What's it called? My tracker. Tracker. And that's pretty much it, at least for today. I'm happy with how that turned out. And I'm happy with this big open yard. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya. Get some ash up. There we go. The paper cut. Yeah. I already put ash on the top. Flour and sugar. I can get a little.